Hello and welcome to another session of Brick Therapy. Today I'll be building and reviewing Lego Pirate Set 6286 Skull's Eye Schooner. This set was released in 1993. What I have is a little bit torn up. It has stickers, damage and stuff. I purchased it off Bricklink and the seller said it was 100% complete, which it wasn't. Not only that, I actually found one piece that was a non-Lego piece. But here it is, the inside, it even has a plastic part. And let me show you the box lid with the art that's in here. No alternative builds on the inside. There is a little story right here. Then in the back, this is where we have the alternative builds. Looks like you can have two ships here. You have a unique one that has a little canopy, a port, and this is just a little fun scene right here. So I have the instructions. Let's take a minute and put it together. This is Lego set 6286, Skull's Eye Schooner, also known as Dark Shark 2 or the Black Skull. Released in 1993, it came with nine minifigures. So you have Captain Redbeard, you have the first mate, Rummy, you have Anne over here, and then you have some guy named uh, Gonzo Gold Bar. I believe it's this little minifigure right here. And here's one that a lot of people say is a sought after, but according to Wikipedia, he doesn't even have a name, he's just Pirate. He was also in the Imperial Trading Post. So this set initially came out at around $126 US, and now brand new one is going for around $3,300. 58-ish. According to Bricklink, it has 878 pieces and it has four cannon ports on each side and a swiveling cannon base that allows it to shoot out of either side. So depending on the need, they can all fire out of one side or any combination of the four. And then there's these two non-functional, they call it, cannons at the top, which probably more for decoration. It has a plank to walk. And let's look at the play features. Here you have a locking mechanism for the side doors. It gives you access to the inner play area. And you have, all you have in here is a blue table, four by four table, two doors. And as you can see, the mechanism for steering is in here. Up here you have a little chest, a chalice, and a flint pistol. It also opens to give you access to the inner cabin. You have a somewhat working compass. Up front here you have two areas that allows you to store or stash 
uh, items that you're stealing or if you're pirating. You have a crane and this time it has a winching system. The arm is still a little bit short. In the back here you have a place to store your rowboat and this ship will definitely allow, not allow you to hide who you are. They're gonna know you are coming and going. So this one is probably not one of the ships that you'll be able to go into port with. So this is a major upgrade for Redbeard and his crew. The ship looks like it's built for war the way it is and with the sails having the crossbones there's probably little chance that the Imperials would want to use it. This is a little bit better than the Black Seas Barracuda. I believe it's slightly larger but definitely has the four cannons per side which makes it much better at defending itself or attacking. And then you have like a half minifigure at the front. This is the Skull's Eye Schooner. 